Hey everyone, it's the Clumsy Simmer and welcome back to another speed build or just welcome if you are new. Today we are in Oasis Springs building a base game only Mediterranean style mansion. Um, this build, it's I, it slowly turned into something bigger than it was supposed to be. I wanted it just to be a normal size house for the Sims, like maybe three or four bedrooms, but it, it slowly turned into something bigger. Um, it just it just turned out that way. I'm not the best Mediterranean style builder in the Sims, which is funny because I am from Florida, but something about building them in the Sims just does not do it justice for the real life version of Mediterranean style houses. I think it has to do with the wall shapes in real life and you can't really mimic that in The Sims. Um, platforms have helped a lot when it comes to making the walls look different shapes on the same floor, but that's kind of impossible to do when you have to put a roof on top of that. So with that being said, <laughs> Platforms are great for like modern style houses, but they're not so good when you have to put a roof on top of that because I don't think it even um, works right. I wish when you put the platform down and you raised it up, I wish you could put the roof directly on top of the platform, if that makes sense. But instead, the roof goes in its normal area right on top of the, the wall. And then the platform raises above the roof, so you get clipping. It just doesn't work how I wish it worked. Maybe we'll get updates in the future, um, keeping my hopes up, but we'll see. So right now I'm just getting the exterior, the front exterior done. Um, I love the way this turned out for me not being able to not being very good at building mediterranean style houses this actually came out pretty good these palm trees i swear i can never make them work in a build for some reason but they they work really well in this build so i was pretty happy about that um the landscaping it gave me a little bit of a hard time um right here inside of the fence i couldn't exactly figure out exactly what I wanted. I knew I wanted some more of those bushes because they just take up a bunch of space and make it easier. Um, as far as like this area over here, I literally had no idea. I knew I wanted to keep the round driveway, um, driveway or sidewalk, <laughs> not really a driveway. Um, but anyways, you see now I kind of gave up on the landscaping for right now and I'm putting some lights outside just to, you know, make sure it's nice and lit at night. That's something I like to do. Here I am back at the landscaping. This pretty much is what I'm going with. I love to use those little like flower, vine, grassy looking things to outline the exact area I'm going to put the flowers and then it just makes it easier to fill the actual garden area. Um, one tip for landscaping, I've heard this from other YouTubers, a lot of other like Sim, Sims channels. I can't remember particularly which ones, but they gave the advice of using just, you know, picking one or two colors is what I like to do best is two colors and sticking with those two colors. Don't do more than two colors unless you want it to be a really colorful build. But what I found by doing more than two is that it just looks way too busy and kind of, I don't know, on the tacky side, depending on the build. Like this build would not look good with a lot of different color flowers in my opinion, but the red and white go so well with it. I really am happy with how it turned out. I'm just putting on some terrain paint now. I'm pretty much done with the landscaping in the front yard, I believe. Um, nothing too crazy, but enough to make it look good. I'm not quite on the inside yet. I'm gonna try to figure out the back now. I did have a little bit of a hard time on the back. I couldn't decide exactly how I wanted to lay it out. I knew I wanted a pool. I knew I wanted to use that uh, Florinda pergola or whatever that's called that uh, came in a, 
update a couple years ago for base game. It has like those flowers on it. You'll see it here in a little bit. Um, I don't get to use it very often in build, so I was happy that I was able to figure out how to use it. There it is right there. Um, I, of course, changed it to the red color. At first, I was trying to just put it under there like that and it ended up clipping on the inside so you'll see me move it here in a little bit and I just could not for the life of me figure out exactly where I wanted to put it. Um, it ends up being nowhere near where I was just trying to put it. <laughs> you'll see that in a little bit but um, I am just you know having such a hard time figuring out the back for some reason. I wanted to at first put those two walls exactly like that because I was thinking oh yeah I could put those string lights in between the walls um, I've done that before and it turned out really good but then I was like oh wait this is a base game only there is no string lights uh, not that I know of anyways maybe those sandal string lights but it yeah that didn't fit the vibe so I, I wasn't gonna use those um, now I'm just trying to figure out the fencing in the back I knew I wanted to use the same fencing as the front, but couldn't figure out exactly how I wanted to lay it out. I hate putting those tall fences and meeting it up with a shorter fence that's see-through. I kind of, you know, don't see the point in using a privacy fence at that point, uh, since I do like to make things realistic. Like, no one in real life would have a privacy fence attached to a see-through fence because it really just defeats the purpose if someone does that in real life it's because they just they're in the process of putting the privacy fence up or down you know so um the back is getting finished now so i did end up leaving both of those um walls on each side and then i added another section in the middle just to break it up a little bit although i am not totally done with the back yet I do add some more walls and some archways on the bottom right there to make it look more like the Mediterranean aesthetic I couldn't figure out the windows I ended up I wanted to do something cool right there with those little like abnormal shaped windows but it just wasn't working out so here I am just adding the archways now I did the idea of those little tiny windows on the top, I left them on the bottom. I ditched that idea. I think I end up just putting big windows, like the round ones. Yeah, those are the ones I end up going with. I think it looked the best. Um, the front, I love the way the front turned out. The back, I don't know. It's I feel like it could have turned out a little bit better, but I just could not figure it out for the life of me. I just need more practice with Mediterranean style houses is what it is. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the pool now and that was another thing that I just could not figure out how I wanted to lay out and then that that pergola was giving me such a hard time. <laughs> it It's so pretty but it's so big and bulky it kind of makes it hard to lay it out. So I gave up on the back for right now and I decided just to go ahead and go into the inside and figure out the layout of the floor plan. Um, something that I love doing in The Sims is to make those open entryways, like the open ceiling entryways. I don't know why I love doing that so much in The Sims. It's probably because I never lived in a house like that in real life. I've only lived in single story houses. Not that there's anything wrong with single story houses because they are easier to clean and if you have a hard time with your mobility, single story houses are the way to go. On the subject of mobility, I actually do have a little bit of a story for you guys about my personal life. Um, last year, I broke my ankle in three different places. So with that, um, as an example about your mobility, if I had a two-story house, it would have been a nightmare to try to, you know, crutch around the house or wheel the wheelchair around the house and stuff like that. So I did thank God at that point for having just a single-story house. So um, 
Maybe in the future I'll be able to afford having a two-story house, but by then I'll probably be too old to even care, so I'll just stick with the one-story house. It is what it is. Okay, anyways, let's get back to the build now. Um, I am slowly but surely figuring out the floor plan for this house. Um, it gave me a little bit of a hard time for the floor plan too. I don't know exactly why. It's just some floor plans come together so easily and others just don't. I've come to realize you know, on the exterior, having all these different pop-out walls, you know, they look great. But then when it comes to building the floor plan, I have a harder time with that than if it was just like more of a regular square. I don't know if that's just me or if that's, you know, everyone's take on it. But yeah, the funkier the walls, the harder the floor plan. That's just how it is for me. Um, this is the master bedroom over on the left side. And on the right side, I believe I put just like a spare bedroom maybe and then an o no, an office and a little gym I think is what I do for the two downstairs uh, bedrooms. And um, the master is just a huge bedroom. I thought it made sense to have a big nice house like this. The master bedroom would probably be big itself. And then I did a walk-in closet and a bathroom, a master bathroom. And now I'm upstairs trying to figure out the upstairs layout. I believe I ended up being able to put four bedrooms on the upstairs and two bathrooms, either two or three bathrooms, I can't quite remember. But um, here I am adding the lights now, finally, and I am also adding in some of this uh, flooring. I don't know exactly what you call this flooring. I want to call it terrazzo flooring, but I, I don't believe that's what terrazzo flooring is. Uh, the terrazzo flooring that I know has like specks of different particles in it. I don't know anything about flooring, but it, do it doesn't look like that. The typical terrazzo flooring that you find in Florida looks different. But um, that, that tile floor, I guess it's just regular tile. Tile flooring is something you'll find a lot in Florida too. Um, it just, I don't know if it's because of the hot weather and then the tile flooring just cools you down because it does get quite cold. Uh, I got hardwood floors and then some tile in my kitchen, but my living room's just hardwood floors. I can't stand carpet in real life. Off topic, I know, but carpet just, it's, it makes it feel hot, it gets dirty, and, you know, it doesn't matter how many times you vacuum a carpet, let's be real, that, that dirt stays in that carpet. Um, but anyways... I am just getting the back laid out finally. I believe I moved that pergola. I know for a fact I moved that pergola from that location. Um, I think I end up spreading the pool out a little bit more and putting the pergola over into one of the grassy areas. You'll see that later in the build. Now we're just back in the back getting the landscaping finished up in the backyard. I end up adding some more of those nicely shaped trees to the other side and I believe some bushes if I'm not mistaken maybe not bushes but I know for a fact flowers I'm adding some more of these palm trees make it look nice and Florida like and we are also adding some bushes and stuff to the back just trying to fill up those empty spaces um, I end up scratching that idea I do add some more of those bushes back here I thought I did and I definitely add some flowers too it's not many but like I said it definitely you know, it works out in the end. It's just enough. It's not too much and not too little. It makes it look nice back here. I also end up adding like uh, at the very end, I think is when I add it, like one of those child monkey bars over on the right side of the backyard. It was empty. I was like, what can I put there? There is a child in the household. And so it just made sense to put the monkey bars there. I like to make the houses I build as gameplay involved as possible. I like to put as many gameplay varieties as possible, if that makes sense. I just like to make sure this whoever download, downloads the houses that I build have enough options for their sims to actually increase their skills and it's not just, you know, a pretty house to look at. 
I know some people get really, really detailed with their houses, and I do try to get pretty detailed with mine, but I found that when they're overly detailed, it's hard to actually play in the houses. So most houses that I build, if not all houses that I build, it's going to be very gameplay friendly because that's, you know, if I were to play in this house, I would want it to be as functional as possible. Um, there's nothing worse than downloading a house from the gallery and half of the things on the inside don't work or your sim you know is trying to get to the upstairs and for some reason there's something blocking the upstairs and sometimes it'll be as simple as just you know deleting the picture on the wall by the stairs and sometimes it's as difficult as you gotta change the whole floor plan and then it's like okay now I need to go find a new house on the gallery to download um, Oh, so I ended up adding the monkey bars now. I thought it was at the end for some reason, but no, it was now. So as you can see, I ended up putting the pergola on some more tile in the backyard. I thought it looked really nice like that, almost like it's in the garden area. And then I put the table and chairs out there. And um, then the monkey bars on the other side. We are back on the inside now. I believe this is when I start furnishing the whole house. Uh, we're just in the entryway. I love to put some mirrors above like a table in the entryway. I don't know. I want to say it's realistic, but then again, I don't know anyone that has just a table in the entryway like that. I don't know. I typically like in my house, what you'll find in Florida is you walk in the house and you're in the living room. That's how my childhood house was, my best friend's house, my house now my sister's house, everyone that I know, they just, you walk in and there's the living room. But anyways, we're in the living room now of the build. It's, you know, doing base game, it makes building easy, but then again, it makes it hard because doing a big house like this, you don't want to overuse all of the items. But base game only comes with so many items. Like, they only come with so many pictures, so many sofas. They really need to add more sofas to the base game, don't they? Um, they keep coming in, like, these kits, and it's like, no, just give us a, an SDX drop with a couch or something, you know? Or do a kit with just couches. I know people's opinions on kits are not very good. I'm not too fond of them either. I feel like they don't come with very much stuff. I don't get all of them, but I do get some of them if they make sense with the gameplay that I like to do. Um, now, I could not figure out this room for the life of me what I wanted to do. I was going to do like one of those faux living rooms where you just walk in and it's like a play setting, but people don't actually hang out in there. But I ended up scrapping that idea. I do that quite often, is to do those faux living rooms, but I decided not to do that here. I wanted to do something different. So I ended up putting this piano, and that piano ends up staying. You'll see me kind of toss it around, but it does end up staying in there. And yeah, I put it over here, but it doesn't end up staying there. I, I, this room was hard too. There's so many extra rooms. I could not figure out what to do with. I didn't want to make everything bedrooms, you know, that gets kind of old. You can only have so many Sims in a house. And I think there's already like four, five, definitely five bedrooms and then two spare bedrooms that I turned into something else that you could make into bedrooms. So there's basically seven bedrooms in this house. And it's like, that's all you need. There's one or two parents and then you can have like six or seven kids depending on how many parents are in the house. Um, but I end up putting not this table here. I do this game table. So this is almost like a bar slash game room. Um, I figured the adults could sit there and play poker. I mean, the kids can do that too, but I just figured the bar is right there. So it's more of like the adult entertainment room. You can have some drinks, play uh, some poker, invite your friends over, maybe do some friendly bets. We don't want no fights here do some friendly betting. Um, 
just a room for your sims to have a good time in. I would have liked to add more gaming things, like maybe a chess table, but it didn't really fit. I ended up putting another fireplace in here. Um, it was something to add to a wall that wasn't just a picture. Because you'll see me reuse a couple of these pictures probably. Because like I said a little while ago, base game is just lacking on certain things. And pictures is another one of those things. So this is me trying to figure out the picture situation in the living room without, you know, making it too obvious that I'm reusing pictures. <laughs> uh, I put one of those cactuses right there just for a little cute decoration. Those sketched drawings, or whatever you want to call them, the, the architectural drawings, are not my favorite. I do not like to use those, but when you're doing a base game build, you're almost forced to. Like, there's just such limited options that you have no choice but to use that or use the same picture that you used in the other room. So, anyways, enough of the, enough, you know, complaining about the pictures. We are in the kitchen now. This... I feel like I'm saying this about all the rooms, but this was hard too, I'm telling you. It's the shape of the room that makes it harder. Uh, I never built a kitchen that looked like this before. So, I mean, I guess that's a good thing, but it did make it hard to figure out exactly how to lay it out and make it look nice and make it look full. I felt like that middle part was just so empty. So I ended up putting that table there and you seen me edit that part out um, before the transition I put the table there and I went into debug and I was trying to add you know like the debug cutting boards and knives and spoons and all that and make it look really used like maybe you have like a maid or a butler or a nanny or something cooking for you in this house and or maybe the people that live here just like to cook but um when I did the test of saving it to my, not the gallery, but like my, um, just saving it to my origin account and then placed it back down, it was gone. So I was like, okay, there's no point in making them watch that part. So I just edited that part out and put that transition in. Um, now I'm just finishing up this room with the piano. I did end up moving that gold bust into that piano room. I felt like right there in front of the window, it, it made the most sense. It made it look like you're trying to, you know, it's like a decoration piece right there in front of the window. But um, the way this piano room turned out, I actually was pretty happy with it. I thought it turned out pretty good. Um, now that hallway, then nothing special. It's just a hallway. And then to the left, there is one of the bathrooms and I think I just moved to the upstairs now. Yeah, I'm moving up to the upstairs now. I come back to the downstairs once I figure out exactly what I want to do with it. Uh, you will notice I have not done the bathrooms yet. I said this in my last video. I'll probably say it again in the future. I just... Bathrooms are just boring to do. That's it. That's all there is to it. They're boring and they just take up time when you have multiple bathrooms it's just something once I yank the band-aid off and just do the bathrooms I pretty much do them all at once so I get it over with um, this is me in the one of the spare bedrooms I ended up turning into like that at-home gym and this is the downstairs office space I think I put another office space upstairs in one of the upstairs spare bedrooms but this is the downstairs one. There's another one of those architectural pictures, so I obviously reuse pictures in this build, but um, I put in a chess table, put in a couple bookcases. That's a trick I like to do. I don't know if it's a trick, but I call it a trick. I like to just put a couple bookcases in the background just to take up wall space and make it look more full and lived in. And I just think it looks nice. Um, here I am ripping the band-aid off and doing one of the downstairs bathrooms. Um, I end up putting in a tub shower combo in this bathroom. 
and trying to get the color scheme right. I couldn't figure out exactly the color scheme I wanted to do. I wasn't very impressed with this bathroom at all. Um, I feel like it could have turned out better. And then this other, this is the master ba bathroom that I'm doing now. I end up just leaving that big, nice jacuzzi tub. Um, who would not love to have one of those in real life? I have been on vacations in like hotel rooms, not really hotel rooms, but like Airbnb type of places that have those nice bathtubs. And oh my gosh, I take advantage of it. Um, it's so nice. There was one time me and my fiance, when we lived in Tennessee, we lived there for a few years. And when we lived there, we used to go to Gatlinburg all the time. And there was one time for Valentine's Day, we went and stayed into like a little mini cabin. And it had a heart-shaped bathtub and it was so cute and so relaxing. And it was so cold outside. There was a jacuzzi outside. But it was just so cold that we couldn't even stand being out there, half of our bodies out in the cold and the other half in the hot jacuzzi. So we're like, you know what? Let's just stay in the hot, the heart-shaped hot tub on the, or the bathtub on the inside. Like, that's where it's at. It was such a good experience. I'd love to do that again. I miss actually living in Tennessee. I loved it there. I lived there for a couple years. I was born and raised here in Tampa moved there for work for a couple years and then you know started missing family and so we made the decision just to come back home um, and we've been here ever since and that was like 2019 so it's been about five years uh, anyways we are in the master bedroom now I you know I'm pretty happy with how it turned out this is once again just base game so for it being base game only, it's actually pretty decorated. And since it's base game, it technically, now that the base game is free to download for everyone, this is a free build, literally a free build for you to download. So you don't need any packs, don't need any custom content, no mods, nothing like that. Uh, I am thinking about making a base game save file. I am actually working on just a regular save file using all the packs, but it's probably going to be a relatively large save file because I am making like a bunch of sims and stuff like that. I might be going overboard, but once that's done, I have no idea when that's going to be done. I will end up sharing it on um, probably my Tumblr or something like that. I'm not 100% sure where I'm going to share it at yet, but um yeah, so we are finishing up the upstairs. Each of these, you know, there's a teenage son and a, ch a daughter, a child that they have. And so one room will be for the teen boy and the other room will be for the child girl. And then I do a like an office space. And the other bedroom, I think I just do a spare bedroom. I think that's what I end up doing. Like, just with a spare bed and stuff like that. So when they have relatives come over or, something, or friends or whatever and they need to stay, they have an extra room. If you do have, um, I think the butlers come with luxury party stuff or something like that. If you have the pack that comes with the butlers, then the butler has a bed, a spare bed to sleep in. So... That was kind of my idea with that, but with all that being said, we are kind of nearing the end of the video. There's about 10 minutes left. I think I will leave you guys to enjoy the rest of this video in peace, and feel free, if you like this video, please like, subscribe. It will definitely help my channel out. I This is my only my second video, so... If you enjoyed it, please like, please subscribe, share it, follow me on the gallery. I have a lot of stuff on my EA gallery. I have lots of sims, lots of houses, lots of stuff that I haven't recorded. Um, start Going forward, most of the stuff I build, I probably will record. But I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this build. Uh, if you have any, you know, recommendations or anything, feel free to leave some comments down below. I always love hearing recommendations. Sometimes I get some brain farts. But um, anyways, I will leave you guys to it and I will see you in the next one. Bye!
to the city streets, we begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun. As she puts her hand in mine We wanna chase the night
in the dozen The other eleven get something from nothing Loud blessings come one in the dozen The other eleven get something from nothing Loud blessings come one in the dozen The other eleven get something from nothing Loud changes just open the door But one thing's certain, I'll always be your yeah. 